Kuwaiti Speciality Hospital is one of the last few places in Rafa that can care for the wounded or dying. But already overwhelmed doctors warn an Israeli invasion further into the southern Gazan city could send an influx of new patients through their doors and push them beyond their limits. Already, medicine and proper equipment are short. Jamal Alhams is a doctor. The need for the, the medical team to be present in this area is very, very important. Uh, it is difficult to leave the, the condition unless uh, they threaten or they target the, the hospital. Otherwise, we will continue presenting our services. We, ha we have been here from the start of war until now, and do, I do hope they will not uh, target us. Uh, they will not threaten us. I do hope the whole medical team will still continue to present its services to uh, the injured people, to the critically ill patients, to the people who have the uh, who, are, who have uh, chronic diseases and they are complicated because of the shortage of the drugs they are using. The International Red Cross has set up a field hospital to try to meet what it describes as overwhelming demand for health services since Israel's military operation on Rafah began last week. Gaza's medical system has virtually collapsed under Israeli bombardment, and mass casualties are feared if there's a full Israeli assault in its drive to eradicate Hamas. Doctors in Gaza already say they perform surgery, including amputations, with no anaesthetics or painkillers. Issa Daher manages the field hospital. So with the current situation of uh, the Gaza Strip, we believe that uh, this uh, field hospital uh, will contribute uh, to the general health care delivery service in, uh, in the Gaza Strip now that the uh, majority of the health facilities are not functioning, majority have uh, ceased to operate, and uh, we are uh, forming part of the few hospitals uh, uh, that are operational at the moment, ready to receive uh, injured patients. The closure of the Rafa crossing between southern Gaza and Egypt has stranded patients seeking treatment abroad. It has also made delivering aid, including medical supplies, even harder. World Health Organization spokesperson Tarek Hasarovich said on Friday they hadn't got any into Gaza since before May 6. First, we don't have medical supplies. We don't have a fuel. We have hospitals that are under evacuation order. Uh, we have a situation where we cannot move physically. Witnesses and medical professionals said Israeli troops have attacked hospitals, blockaded them, and killed doctors and other civilians there, which Israel denies. Israel says hospitals in Gaza are used by Hamas as bases, which the militant group and doctors deny.